Hello guys, welcome to the review of the Mida Multi-Tool. Now basically, what the Mida Multi-Tool is, Ballistic Engagement, Entrancing Tool, Avionics Troll, Troll Smasher, Stellar Sextant, list continues. Now, what we are going to be doing is making a brief drawing here. Like, So this is, okay, so you can kind of see it there, you can kind of see it, and now we'll go after these bad boys later. But right now, we're going to go to this. Then you gotta draw. Okay, so now see the Mida multi tool looks something like this. You gotta get the trigger there. Yeah, it looks kind of like that, but there's a little thing on the outside there, and you got a little sight. Now this this is the Muda multi tool. Now, now basically, what you what you're gonna expect from the weapon here. Let's just get rid of it. Now, what you're gonna expect from the weapon is it to shoot like that. So you got your just let us do my multi tool right here. Boom, 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 boom. But the main thing about it. It's got fast reload and fire rate. Okay, but in all seriousness, let's get to the review. This is that's kind of a review, but so whoops. Let's just stop stop the madness. Okay. So we have it here, whatever. Modern multi tool. Now, basically, the first one is soft ballistics. Like the first tree, you get like three of them. You choose one, basically, etc. All right. So first one, less recoil penalty impact. It's not very good. Don't do that one, because the recoil doesn't really matter, but the impact matters a lot. CQB ballistics, not very good. Well, depends. It depends if you like range for the scout rifle. I do, so I I don't use it. And then this last one here is the best. It's kind of like that one, but it just takes away lef less range, but gives a little bit less re reduced recoil. So basically, this one, I think, is the best one here that you're going to choose. And then next one, third eye. Radar stays active while aiming down the weapon sights. This one's not very... Well, depends what you're doing. In PvP, it's amazing, so just get it anyways. Well, you have to kind of get it to advance. This is just upgrade. Next one, all pretty good. Now the the mag let's just draw this here. Magazine size is twenty one right away. But if you get that, I think it goes to twenty eight. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it goes to twenty eight. Okay, so the best one out of these depends. This one's definitely not it. It's not quick draw, but it depends what you're doing. You get lightweight if you need, if you're doing like say you're doing crotazan, you're doing the start, the bridge, whatever. That's pretty good. You you'd use that one. But if not, I would go with field scout. So j let's just say we'll go to field scout. Next one, Mida multi tool. The weapon boosts move speed and fires on a hair trigger. Now the hair trigger thing I don't really make think makes that much of a difference, but it makes boost speed. So if you're doing like anything this is good because you get faster speed and if you partner with that then you get like ultra fast speed and then these are all pretty good so in general the minor multi-tool is a good weapon Zer's selling it for like 23 strange coins so get that if you don't have it and it's the only exotic scout rifle right now but in the house of wolves there's gonna be a new one but basically this is a good weapon it's a good weapon it's a fast firing scout rifle pretty much and it's got a quick reload speed so if you're into scout rifles, this is a necessity. It's like the best. And then if you're into slow firing ones, then I would get one of the ones from the legendary vendor or maybe even the Fang of your Ute. But yeah, that's been the review for the Mida Multi-Tool. And uh, there's going to be more reviews for exotics. Next one, I don't know what it's going to be. We'll have to see. But yeah. Alright, so this has been Exotic Review for Mida Multi-Tool. See ya.